Mount Crusher and I had a great breakfast with Cheek and Sunset and Joe Hikes and Bluebird before we headed back to the Gap. That's a good place for them. <laughs> good morning, everybody. We just got back on trail at Winding Stair Gap. We had a lovely stay with Chica and Sunsets last night. 10 out of 10 recommend. Um, we just met up with Lucky and Snapshot and we met, what are their names now? Caveman and Hot Lips, Hot Lips who are on their triple crown, which is crazy to me. But, oh, there's a really nice waterfall coming up. Looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day today. It's kind of cold. I'm also apparently the only person wearing short sleeves right now. So, huh. Pretty excited. We've got a couple of good views today. I'm gonna show you this waterfall. Oh man, that's so pretty. I love nature. Well, I got myself a little behind the guys. I uh, stopped to give us a tree and uh, almost awkwardly got walked up on by a section hiker. He was a total gentleman about it though, to his credit. But then I sat down and I was like, well, I'm already chilling behind the guys, so I took my KT tape off my ankle, um, which I just retaped this morning, but it was really bugging me. Uh, I was uh, going to give it a try. First time in like a week. Haven't had KT tape on that ankle. Then I uh, busted out the shorts, and uh, now I'm just trying to catch up to the guys. It's a really pretty day today, though. Um, we're walking through an area where they did a controlled burn yesterday, so some ashes around, but I'm hoping the regrowth will be really nice whenever it happens. So, yep. Probably gonna put on some tunes and see if I can bust out some miles and catch up to those guys. They're pretty quick. I think I'm definitely the slowest, but it's okay. They tolerate me. You can see the smoke from the uh, next control burn they're doing today. Definitely smells like it up here. We're on first lunch, next meal, anytime we eat. I keep getting distracted by my sparkly new shoes. It's very annoying. I'm used to seeing them being grubby and now they're not grubby anymore. And I had to MacGyver my hiking pole to get it to stay up because I finally replaced the latch because it broke a few days ago. Except now it's kind of permanently broke because the, <laughs> the pin isn't long enough. But hey, we have no problems. We're up here at Siler Bald. It is absolutely phenomenal. We have great weather, literally not even a cloud in the sky. So no complaints here. Really, it's such a big tree. Wow. Just in case you had any concerns about what we were doing today, the answer has been going up all day. Pretty much the whole day. We're still going up. But theoretically, there's a great view at the end of the up. This is a lot of up. That's why the air's been so dry all day. They're doing more controlled burns down there. The smoke's making everything hazy. Why a bald tower? Why a bald observation tower? Man, this place is beautiful.
All right, hello from Wyabald. Um, we are camped out with a whole bunch of um, other friends um, that we've met on trail here. And we are currently enjoying a really, really beautiful sunset. We just got done with a little planning sesh. So we've got our um, base camp rooms at the Knock booked and our um, rooms for the Fontana Lodge booked. So that's good. Um, but it was a long day of uphill today. It was a lot of climbing and my um, calves are definitely sore. But honestly, the view from Wyabal Tower was totally worth it. And being here with all of these amazing people in camp has been really fun. Um, so I'm, I'm excited. I have a real sleeping pad <laughs> to sleep on tonight, one that actually is, can hold air in it. So I'm not sleeping on the ground, which is a huge plus. Um, so yeah, um, it should be a pretty nice day tomorrow. We're working our way up towards the knock. Um, but yeah, I mean, you don't, you don't get much better than that, seeing those sunsets in camp. So, good night, everyone.